Good evening, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Wednesday, August 19th, 2015. Around 7.44 in the evening in Berwick, Massachusetts. The sun is going down. Still a steamer today. And we're going to have more humid weather for the next several days. Next week's going to cool off. Soon, the leaves will be changing, and we'll be shoveling snow. Some news to report. Happy Aviation Day, National Aviation Day in the United States. On the golf course and, and batting cages on Route 1, that properties in Saugus, Massachusetts, has been sold, and it's probably not going to be a mini golf thing or batting cages. It has a big dinosaur. That's going to be closing down. I bet you two to one it's going to be a shopping center. And also, Josh Duggar admitted he had a site on AshleyMadison.com. This is no shock at all. And that's about it on the news. My third and final video blog subject of the night's my personality profile. Tonight's personality profile is about forming the Houston Rocket Center. Yao Ming. Yao Ming was one of the most best NBA centers in the 2000s and stuff, but he had a short career in the NBA and stuff. Yao Ming was is seven foot six inches tall, and he was born and he grew up in Shanghai, China. And he played basketball at a young age, the age nine. And he was so good playing basketball because he grew and grew and grew. At 13 years old, he started playing basketball semi-professionally for the Shanghai Sharks Junior Team at age 13. And he was such a good player, averaging like 20, 25 points a game during his junior career. And when he was 17, Yao Ming graduated to the Shanghai Sharks Big Team for the Chinese Basketball association and stuff and he played four seasons with the team and he was one of the best players in the CBA like he would won the CBA title 2002 and stuff and he averaged close to 40 points a game and 20.2 eight bounce per game his last year in the um, Chinese basketball league and a lot of pro scouts said that Yao Ming would be the next big center in the NBA and they were projecting him to be a high draft pick and he decided in 2002 he was going to leave China to play for the NBA and the Houston Rockets had the number one pick in the 2002 NBA draft and they drafted Yao Ming number one pick he won number 11 and he played nine seasons in the NBA all with the Houston Rockets and he was a very dominant force playing for them Three times he averaged 20 or more points per game. Two times he averaged 10 or more rebounds per game. Eight out of the nine seasons Yao played in the NBA. He was named. He played. He was named to the All Star team. Two times he was All NBA's second team. Three times he was All NBA third team. And Yao Ming was such a great center and stuff like that. But being seven foot six inches tall. He was susceptible to injuries and stuff. He missed significant playing time because he had like foot problems and knee problems and stuff. A lot of people were saying that Yao Ming was going to lead the Houston Rockets to like NBA Finals and stuff, but he was, you know, he was frequently injured and stuff. The Rockets made the playoffs many times, but Yao Ming did never made it past the second round and stuff. He sometimes would only play a few games a year and stuff because of his foot and other stuff. And 2010-2011 um, season was last year. Yao Ming was in the NBA. He retired there from there at the age of 31. And his career stats were like 9,247 points, averaging 19. Um, points per game, 4,494 rebounds, I mean 4,494 rebounds, 9.2 rebounds a game, and 920 block shots, 
1.98 block shots per game, and Yao Ming represented um, China in Olympic competition three times and stuff, and, and he was pretty good at it. And then Yao Ming retired, and like 2012, they were going to put him on the Hall of Fame ballot for a contribu contribution to the game as a finalist, but he wasn't voted in, and Yao Ming says he did not want to be put into the Hall of Fame too soon and stuff like that. He's, he is eligible for the Hall of Fame for the first time in 2017, and there's a good possibility Yao Ming will be voted into the Pro Basketball Hall of Fame first ballot because of his great career in, you know, China and, you know, success in the NBA and stuff, being like the first prominent Asian player in NBA history to make a big impact and stuff like that. And the Houston Rockets will probably retire his number 11 before long. And that's about it on Yao Ming. And that's about it on these video blogs, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Tomorrow, we're going to get three more of them. And tomorrow, I'm going to be doubling up on the SummerSlam reviews. Tomorrow will be the first video blog will be about WWE SummerSlam 1992 review from London, London, England. It was nicknamed the SummerSlam you thought you'd never see. And the second one will be about review of SummerSlam 1993 from... Um, um, Detroit, Michigan, suburban Detroit, Michigan, Auburn Hills, and in the third and final video blog on that will be about former um, Major League Baseball player Jose Cruz and stuff. And this weekend for the fantasy booking um, video blog, it will be about me rebooking SummerSlam 1993. I've been getting a lot of like feedback saying if I'm ever going to return like the fantasy booking to. The video blog is about adding long-time close personal friends. As of right now, it's not coming back. But you never say never again. There could be a point one of these days. I could do video blogs about fantasy booking things. Maybe there'll be steel cage matches about Dr. Sh Thomas Sharkey facing off against Bruce Cronin. Or pillow fights between Julie Bratton and Heidi Lee Pratt. But you never say never. But at right now not coming back and have a good night facebook youtube and twitter and i like like i always say keep calm and i'm a julie brother guy molly rosenblatt a fox 35 rocks and has nice legs amy swensey of like wish to orlando rocks as well and elizabeth hart of local six orlando florida also rocks us now well and in the words of good old jr jim ross Business is about to pick up. Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.